Then the lights on, carry me home to the market. The market? Yeah, just in case I need something there. You live in the market? You said carry me home to the market. Well, I you live, live there? near the market. <laughs> oh. I got lots of things like bread and cheese there. But not at your house? No, no. you gotta get it at the market. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. You want to tell people the news? I would love nothing more than to tell them some news. <laughs> okay, we'll get this. Get thing it. So we talked about this as soon as they announced it. Yeah. But now, there are people that are finally popping out the baby. Oh, they're popping it out of there. Yeah, Just they like are. a cannonball. <laughs> Stop. There, yeah, the big head comes out of there, you know? <laughs> it goes. <laughs> it goes. You disgust me more than I can stop. You it's did. a boy! <laughs> oh! Wow! Ah! That's exactly what I imagine it's like in there. I need you to never speak again. Okay, we'll get this. How many were there? <laughs> Two. <laughs> None at the same time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Delayed. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. So, bad girl BB. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she was getting huge. It's yeah. a good thing she popped that out of there. Yeah. yeah. Bad girl BB had a baby boy. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Yeah. Except in Riri. Yeah. Except Riri. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ed Sheeran had a baby. Ed Sheeran popped out a baby? Did he tell his girlfriend, wife? I don't think they're married. Oh girlfriend. my god. I think they're married. Are they? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We missed the wedding. Yeah. Where's Wasn't my invited? invited? Can <laughs> Canceled! <laughs> No, his girlfriend wife still not sure uh, had a baby girl. Popped it out of there. Yeah. Yeah. They say push and then they go. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> no. I don't like this. Like this Stop. and this. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> well that's great for them having those children. Yeah. I spit a little. My got this, I have some more news. What? You know how people, uh, you know, go to college, get degrees, yeah. and then work, move into the workforce? Yeah. Yeah, well this person did not go to college hmm. to get their degree. They just handed it out. Oh, really? So why are people paying to go to these schools if they just hand these things out like candy? I think you have to be famous for them to hand it well, out. Well, that's just stupid. Is it? They're the ones that can afford the schooling. That's true. We have a twisted system here. Oh, <laughs> you dribbled. <laughs> T-Swizzle. T-Swizzle. Swift. Miss Swift. Yeah. Was real swift in claiming that doctorate. Was it the doctorate or was it just a degree? It was a doctorate, I think. She, they keep calling her Dr. Swift. An honorary doctor. How stupid is that? <laughs> there are people out here going to school for... <laughs> eight <laughs> um years. Eight um yeah. Eight years. Could be eight plus, could be eight minus. I don't know how long they go to school for it. But she just walks up in that place and is like, give me a degree. And they're like, yeah. Where'd she get a degree from? NYU. Oh. How silly is that? That's pretty silly. Gosh. And then she spoke and said things to the people. She said inspirational things or just things? <coughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. oh my gosh, that could have been it for me. <laughs> I don't know if it was inspirational. Maybe there's some people. Probably. Probably all the Swifties talks. out there. 
Oh, do you just not like Tea Swizzle? Cancelled! Why is she cancelled? She's annoying. Oh. Why were the Swifties gonna come for you last time? The Swifties were gonna come for me last time because I said something about her picking a lane and staying in it. Oh, because she won country artist. Yeah. yeah that's right. Yeah, she's out here just getting handed all this stuff. Yeah. I mean, she did work for some of it. Yeah. The degree, I will agree, she did not work for that. Well, get this! Getting. So, graduation is one type of celebration, but also people celebrate a birthday. Oh, days of birthing. Yeah. Yeah. So, get this. Yeah. You know the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth? Oh, yeah. She sings that one song. Uh, we will, we will rock you. No, yeah. that's the band Queen. And she also sings that... We are the champions. No, nope, that's the band queen. queen. She's got a lot of hits. She also sings that. Do I? Do you even listen to me when I talk? She has a very. Do you ever good even range. listen to me when I speak? Yeah, you're I talking about queen. I have been saying this for the last five minutes that it is the queen of England, not the band queen. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so there's a thing called the Queen's Jubilee. Oh, sometimes I gotta get my Jubilees checked out. <laughs> no, it's not the same. Thing. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a physical no, exam. No, it's not the same yeah. thing. My Jubilee. <laughs> no. So Queen Elizabeth, for her 70th birthday, there's gonna be a huge celebration, and that's coming up on June 3rd. Oh my gosh. So kind of quick here, but. So, there's going to be a huge celebration with a bunch of bands. It's on three stages and oh it's going to be broadcast on the BBC. Whoa! Yeah! That's big news! Yeah, so get this. Getting it. The band Queen will be performing for the Oh Queen my god, I knew I was doing something there. <laughs> How ironic is it that Queen is playing for the Queen? Very. Alanis set ironic. Yeah, it's a little bit ironic, I think. Yeah. Uh, other people that are going to be performing are Duran Duran, oh. Elton John, oh. Diana Ross, oh. Alicia Keys. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. And the list just keeps going. It does. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. The Queen's Jubilees are a lot, getting a lot more attention than mine. Because no one cares about your Jubilees. Oh, I gotta, someone's gotta care about my Jubilee. Well, maybe you should. Well, I do. I care very much for my Jubilee. Well, then, I don't know With what you want from me. And... With soap! Yeah, you gotta clean your Jubilee. <laughs> oh, yeah, that honestly would be a good name, Johnny's Jubilee. <laughs> oh my god! I could have the biggest jubilee ever. Yeah. I already do. Yeah. I have a very large jubilee. I don't ever want you to look at me and say it like that ever <laughs> yeah. again. Get this! What? So we've been following this pretty closely. Yeah. Keeping people updated, keeping ourselves updated and everything. There's court cases obviously happening. What are there? But the big one that everyone is watching and talking about is the Amber Heard Johnny Depp defamation trial. Yeah. So, Amber Heard has been up there in the hot seat for the last uh, week or so, two weeks, whatever it's been. Yep. And, uh... Johnny's lawyer, Camille, has been uh, hammering down on this woman. I tell you what, she is not letting go. She's like hitting the pressure point and just holding it there. Yeah. And there was one moment when she was all like, Johnny got you that role in Aquaman, right? And Amber was like, excuse me? And Camille was like, Johnny got you that role in Aquaman, right? And she goes, that is not correct. I got it by auditioning. That's how that works, Miss Vasquez. And then what? And then Camille was all like, no further questions. That doesn't seem very helpful. No, but I think they wanted a reaction out of her to show that she's an angry person. Mm. But yeah, I mean, they were showing videos, they were showing audios, they were showing papers and 
pictures and things. Mm -hmm. It was crazy stuff. There's a video of her and, J and James Franco in an elevator and she was canoodling him like this. And it was really weird. And uh, that was the day that she was gonna change the locks on the penthouse when Johnny was out of town. But they were still together? Yeah, I think so. Well, that means she's just a cheater. Yeah. And James, how dare you? Yeah, but he's canceled anyway. James is? Yeah. Good. If he wasn't yeah. before, I'm glad he is now. Anyway. Anywho. Yeah, so uh, Johnny's attorney is questioning Hood, and uh, Amber's attorney is. An idiot. I don't know what she's doing because a, she doesn't know what she's doing. A senile old bet. Yeah, it's I'm not pretty sure good. she picked her up at 7 Eleven and said, Hey, do you think you could uh, represent me in this trial real quick? Yeah. And she's like, Yeah, I guess I can do that. There were like 40 objections in a row one time because she couldn't ask the question correctly. It was like, Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. Speculation, leading. Like, all in one. Like, sh Camille was like throwing all three of them out at her, and, and the other lawyer was all like, She would stand there like this. Well, maybe she should learn how to ask the question. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. they teach you that in law school. But, get this. Uh, Johnny was driving in his car. He wasn't driving. He was in the back seat. Yeah. By some fans. And one fan said, you'll always be my Captain Jack. And he goes, well, he's still in there somewhere. All, all Jack-like. I love that yeah. man. I'm sorry, I love that man. Yeah, and then the lady was like, Well, keep an eye out for your jar of dirt and make a pint. And Johnny laughed. <laughs> but that's all the news that I have, Gina. That's all the news that I have. Oh my gosh. We went through all the news. Yeah, pretty quick, pretty yeah. quick, yeah. Well, if that's all the news that you have. It is. And that's all the news that I have. I believe it is. Then as always, I'm Gina. I am Johnny. And this has been the Johnny and Gina Show. Good day, everybody!